So here we are in the Lake District. Um, my favourite spot in the lakes, Borrowdale. Uh, that's looking down the Borrowdale Valley. Um, so as you go round and up to Honister. Um, unfortunately, this isn't going to be a camping video. Uh, I'm here in the lakes for 10 days. Um, this is day eight, no, seven. Um, and haven't been doing anything outdoorsy. Uh, instead, I've been doing plenty of this. So as you saw, pretty uneventful seven days I've had. Um, like I say, this isn't a camping video. I just needed to get out. Um, been here, I think it's seven days. I've been here at least a week. Um, and I've been literally in lockdown. It's, it, the weather's been crap as well. It's never stopped raining all week. Like literally chopping down for a week. Uh, so we've just come through Hollows Farm and we're heading, well, in that exact direction you can see there straight in front <clears throat> um, and we might just dip into one of my little camping spots along the way for a brew so I'll bring you back is all probably familiar with um, you know bits and pieces of this video but probably more notably this place this is the cave of doom <laughs> yeah I think this is in one of my camping videos I'm not sure if you can see that but that sheep's not right it was hiding under there when I came and it's if it's broke a leg or broke its neck or something its head's all tilted out to one side it cannot walk properly uh, I'll have to see if I can get a hold of the farmer or something over the other side there give him the nod it, it cannot move properly it's, not, it's still eating like so but uh, well, it's definitely not right that cheap like. so you'll probably all recognise this spot um, Mm -hmm. I class this as my spot. It's not my spot, like it's anybody's spot. <laughs> love it here, like just love it. I love the hammock here. I've kept on the deck here. I've slept here loads of times. It's a great little spot. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and see if I can grab the farmer for that sheep, um, and I'll I'll stop here for a brew on the way back. It looks like it's in pain and. You know, I'm not that sort of person just to walk away from it. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna have a stab at finding somebody. I've took some pictures of it like pretty close up. Because he's you know one sheep's exactly the same as t'other. Right, I'll bring you back. It's not happy like look what it's stamping its feet as. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and see if I can get this uh this sheep sorted out like he's knackered. Something not right here, is there? Definitely not. Well, that was lucky. <laughs> he was just tending to the sheep there in the field, so I whistled him over the river and I've told him he's going to come round and meet us. And uh, I'll show him where it's at. And he can do what he needs to do with it. Um, so, yeah. I'll keep you updated, eh? What the hell? Turned into a reap mission, this. Well, he's gone to get the board. Probably over to the gate and the board, and then he's going to get the board of the trailer on and come back and get it. So it's got 
gone back to where it originally was, but we barely stand up to the barely stand up. So yeah. <laughs> what a drama. So that's me good deed done. <laughs> Sheep well and truly saved. Um apparently I'm just taking shelter here in the bus stop because it's absolutely pissing down. Uh, apparently that was a hog. Um, and it had no tag in its ear, it had never been born on a farm. Uh, <clears throat> the farmer reckoned um, it's been born in the hills, on the fells, whatever. And um, Yeah, so there you go. So I'm going to see if this uh, rain eases off. Um, I was going to go to the Scarfell for a pint, but it doesn't open until 12. So we'll see what happens anyway. Right, so after um, Operation Save the Herdy this afternoon, um, I'm, I'm back um, in the property where I've been working in Keswick. Uh, that sheep was knackered. Um, the farmer reckoned it needed some sort of vitamins or something down its neck. Uh, been born in the wild, it had never been on a farm or anything like that, so he was gonna sort it out and hope for the best. Um, there's a pheasant. Um, so it's rained all day, it's never stopped, literally from the farmer turning up with a quad in the trailer to picking the sheep up and dropping me um, back at the farm. It's it's literally chucked down all day, it's been horrible. So after the coffee and the cake, um, obviously I didn't get to the pub. I walked back, jumped in the car and, and I've come back here. Um, so I'm going to go into Keswick the night. I'm going to have a couple of well-earned beers. Not pheasant, man. And, um, and I'm going to order myself a Chinese takeaway. So, thanks for watching. Um, I know there was no camping or out like that involved, but just thought I'd bring you along for the journey. Bye for now.